Brian O'Connor from uh, the Architects Department in Fingal uh, and we're here at King Strand in Balbriggan at the Boathouse and Bathhouse project. Uh, we're at the first stage of the project, the enabling work stage, uh, and hopefully we'll get to uh, a full reconstruction uh, and conservation project for the buildings uh, and a use for them as well. These two buildings behind us, the, the, the bathhouse, so-called, uh, and the boathouse, the old boathouse. They're, in fact, they're both boathouses, are part of uh, Fingal's heritage. They're under threat from the, from the sea, although because of their location, they've survived very, very well for over 100 years, both of them. Uh, they have a beautiful slipway uh, in front of them, built for the, for the larger building, um, and all of that is capable of being preserved um, and conserved so it's a worthwhile project. If we don't do it, the vandalism that's, that's happened will, will mean the buildings will be lost. My name's uh, Mark Bullivan. I'm site agent for Hegarty Demolition. We were commissioned by Fingal Council to undertake the enabling works on the old boat house and bath house in, here in Balbriggan. Some of the um, difficulties we had to deal with here at the boat house in Balbriggan, um, it's a fairly um, busy spot for local public and pedestrians for walking and so we had to have a good uh, pedestrian management plan in place around the front of the buildings. So plenty of barriers, spotters in place. Working in and around the boathouse, it was fairly, it's, it's fairly uneven ground. We had a lot of ground clearance to do before we could get into the main enabling works. So a lot of vegetation clearance, stabilising the ground, taking away trip hazards and uh, just general stuff to, to make it safer as own employees to work on, on this project. Here on this project, um, locally around Balbriggan, doing a lot of work in and around Balbriggan, uh, we came across um, a locally made brick, uh, Balbriggan brick. Um, we salvaged quite a lot of it on a project we did a couple of years ago down at the harbour. And um, it turns out that the salvaged brick was a really good uh, local brick to use on, on the enabling works here to, to rebuild some of the partially collapsed walls and it's, it's working out very well. And what we did find is locally to the boat house, uh, it's where they used to fire the old uh, Balbriggan brick in the old brickworks. So just, it's just nice to keep this brick local and, and tie it in with, with the local structures. It's, it seems to be working out very well. Thomas Fitzpatrick's my name and our company is TLC Stone Masonry. Um, we're down here, we're, we're rebuilding some of the um, walls that were fallen. Uh, we're using the masonry that was on the site that had fallen. We cleaned it first of all and then we mixed lime mortar um, based on what we felt was the right um, hardness for the stone. Um, we're also covering the tops of the walls. Um, we're double lathing and, and putting on a plastic cover. Uh, it's quite breezy here at the sea so it needs to be very strong and that's just to protect from any further erosion as such until they, they decide what they're going to do next. It's very important to use a palm mixer. You need to ensure that the, the lime and the, the grit and sand are mixed properly. Um, we normally mix dry, um, the two dry for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we add water and let it mix for another about 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure it's properly mixed. So we're at the first stage, we've done some uh, uh, ecological surveys of the site, uh, first assessments. Um, we've done some screening of this work, um, AA screening, and that was necessary because the, build, the buildings were covered in ivy uh, and inaccessible. So this project now is to provide access. You can see now that the ivy is gone. Uh, we've had a good look around the site. We've done some uh, investigations in the ground and we've seen the state of the tops of the walls. Um, we've salvaged the roof construction. Uh, we, we know how the buildings were constructed now, especially the, the bigger building here, some very interesting things on it. Um, and we'll move now to developing uh, drawings for the, um, the conservation, the full conservation of the, of the buildings. Uh, and uh, we will have to deal with the, the ground area and the uh, embankment, which has been interfered with over the years, um, and we, we need a full assessment of that. So we'll get that all together. Uh, with a team, we haven't appointed the engineers yet, but that's, that's the, the next uh, stage. So within the next couple of months, we will have uh, a full proposal uh, ready 
uh, and hopefully we'll have our assessment done uh, for, the, for the full job as well. We have identified, I think, a re really appropriate use um, as, as boathouses for the um, local rowing club uh, and the scouts who have a kayak and canoe operation as part of their, um, uh, part of their setup. We've sized the buildings for their equipment uh, and we'll have another meeting with them now that we can get inside the buildings. Uh, so it's a very appropriate use, not heavily serviced, uh, just enough to get into the water, to store and get into the water. Um, so it's, it's nearly a perfect use for, for the buildings, low key, low impact. Um, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get, we'll get them housed uh, at the end of the project.